Hello everyone and welcome to Nerds Fail Me. My name is Chris Kenner and I'm by myself today. Karma is sadly not very well. So I'm going to introduce you to something else that we're doing called bonus points. Bonus points are videos that Karma or myself do that are going to be extra to our normal Thursday, Sunday schedule or that will cover us if we're sick. So let's get started with this one. Anyone who knows me knows that Warframe is my favourite game of all time and I've spent hours just watching videos on YouTube about it. One thing I noticed though is that all the beginner tutorials are like 25 minutes long so I want to do some super short ones for people who don't have so long to sit watching. So what is Warframe? It's a co-op based RPG where you run, jump, shoot and stab your way through randomly generated levels. You can play as a variety of Warframes using a veritable banquet of weapons from pistols to flamethrowers to hammers. It's free to play and though there are paid elements Almost all of them can be earned in-game through selling things to other players. This is one of the rare examples where the paid currency in a game can be freely traded with other players and it really opens it up, even if you've not got a lot of disposable cash. I myself have not spent a penny on my own Warframe account. So you may be asking, is it pay to win? And that's kind of a weird question, because Warframe is not really a competitive game. The levels pit you against AI controlled enemies, and much as you can buy weapons and frames, it's through levelling those up and applying mods that you get in game, that you get more powerful. You play through levels based on planets in our solar system, starting on Earth. As you progress, enemies get more varied and harder to kill. After a little while, you can explore the open world sections of the game, such as the plains of Eidolon on Earth and Fortuna on Venus, but you will still spend most of your time on the missions. The levels themselves vary greatly, from stealthy spy missions to frantic survival missions to the boss fighting assassination missions. You'll find there are bits that you like and maybe some bits that you don't so much, but the game is a bit grindy, needing you to play through some missions several times to get different rewards, but the random layouts keep things fresh and playing with other players makes things more interesting. It's really easy to group up with random players to get through missions, or to go solo if you prefer. Overall, the game does a great job of making you feel powerful and making you feel like you've progressed. The way challenge scales keeps things interesting and drives you to continue working on your setup to improve things. It's free to get hold of on PC, PS4 and Xbox One, so give it a try. You never know, you might have found your new favourite game too.